Leg extension, popular exercise, used many times in the gym, generates a lot of benefits for the upper part of the leg, also known as the quadriceps. We're gonna look at the leg extension here. This is a key exercise in life. We use these quadriceps in everything we do, even when we're simply standing still. So as we look at what Brian has done for us here, Brian's got himself into the seated leg extension. He's put his back and his shoulders firmly against the bench, so he's secured his upper body. He's pulled in through the core here, so he's still maintaining spine alignment and protecting it. Once he looks from there, we have a pivot point here in the machine. The pivot point in his body at this point is his knees joints. Both of his knees are aligned with this so that they can work in unison with it. As we move down here, the pad itself is roughly at the top of his shoelaces. That way the pad can work with his legs as he rolls up and down. And then finally, his feet, knees and hips are roughly hip width apart. That way we maintain alignment and safety within the knee joints themselves. So as Brian starts here, he's gonna take a breath in and as he breathes out, he's gonna powerfully extend his legs up. That's strong, that's good. Look at how we're working right the way through here. He's moved all the way up to where he's almost locked out, but not quite. That way he maintains the tension on the muscles and not the joint, so he gets maximum benefit. You'll also notice as he lowers back down, it's smooth, slow, and under control, but the weight stack itself never touches. That way we never lose the tension throughout the exercise. He never rests, he gets maximum benefit for minimum reps from this workout. As he comes up here, just notice, nice, smooth control. But here's what we're gonna do to get two for one. So not just the quads, we're gonna get the front of the calves. He's gonna pull his toes in tight. By pulling his toes in, he's gonna work here. See how that's already bulged up. Now as he comes up, same movement, we're hitting two areas of the legs. Two for one, that's gonna save us time and also maximize our benefits. So let's just see one more really good one for me, Brian, that's good. Hold for a split second. Now control this last one down. That's it, you're controlling that exercise. Great form, Brian, beautiful. So if you too also want to have that ultimate total body workout where every part of your body looks as good as you want to look, then you follow this form. Two seconds up, slight pause, two seconds back down. We're looking 18 to 24 repetitions here. You'll know that you've done it, and then you too will have that ultimate body that you're proud of. <laughs>